Hello, all you big, beautiful brains out there. Today, we're going to talk about the Hawthorne Effect. Before we get started, take a minute to subscribe to Psy vs. Psy. Help out your friendly neighborhood psychologist while I tell you all about the Hawthorne Effect. Now, from 1929 until 1932, Elton Mayo conducted a study at the Hawthorne Works factory just outside Chicago for Western Electric. Western Electric wanted to show if workers were more productive if they had better lighting. Sounds like a good idea. When people can see what they're doing and have an appropriate space to do their work, they often work better. But also, Western Electric produced a lot of things like electrical parts for lights, so promoting worker needs could also help out their sales. To figure it out, Mayo sent in his researchers to watch how fast the workers could work both with and without the extra light. Problem was, the productivity of the workers went up in both cases. Through his amazing powers of deduction, Mayo figured out that he had made a bigger change than just those lights. Because he sent his researchers to watch the employees, the employees then knew that they were being watched. Their increase in productivity had not much to do with the lights and everything to do with being watched. Today, this effect of being more productive when you're being watched is called the Hawthorne effect because it was discovered at the Hawthorne factory. You'll also sometimes hear it referred to as the observer effect because the behavior changes when employees are being observed. Now, Elton Mayo noticeably didn't name it the Mayo effect because weird. <laughs> if you want to know more about the weird things that make you work harder, make sure you subscribe to Psy vs. Psy so you can get all of our other videos and you can learn all about the science of psychology. Until next time, Keep thinking, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.